So this morning um, we're going to be talking about how you can fix um, your USB microphone levels. Uh, so there's a problem with Windows 10 uh, and Windows 8, previous versions of Windows. Windows 7 it's fine, but anything after Windows 7 there's a problem with uh, Microsoft's USB interface for microphones where the audio comes across uh, far too low and um, with a normal sort of microphone line in connection you get a boost function uh, unfortunately with USB microphones you don't so today we're going to talk about how you can uh, increase the input of your uh, microphone volume using a couple of free pieces of software so the first one is called Equalizer APO um, and the second one is an interface or the actual equalizer onto that APO uh, piece of software called Peace which gives you the ability to uh, boost your your sound levels so the first thing that you want to do is you want to download the two pieces of software so this is available on sourceforge.net um, if you go to projects and then equalizer APO as you can see here um, you get the um, you get the home page for the software so you want to download that um, and install it so we'll just go ahead I've already done this um, but I'm going to run through it again anyway so there might be a couple of prompts saying that uh, I need to overwrite but that's absolutely fine so um, I'm actually going to run it it's all been tested for uh, viruses there are none so um, you're quite safe to install it um, and again, I'm just going to run through the wizard of installation, accepting the defaults. Okay, so once that's installed, you'll get um, the window open here. So I'm not interested in amending anything for the playback devices, but for the capture devices, I, I am. So what I've got is I've got a blue snowball. Um, what you can do is actually pick whatever... Um, USB microphone you're using because it will pick it up if it's already installed in Windows so all I'm doing here is I'm ticking the box here um, and then saying close and as you can see here if you want to change microphones in the future you can go to your installation directory and run this configuration.exe uh, which is this configurator uh, screen here and you can select your uh, alternate microphone so as you can see, I've got um, a Logitech Brio webcam installed. Now that comes with its own drivers, so the audio levels on that are much higher, but the blue microphones um, do not come with uh, any driver set, so it uses the Microsoft default drivers. So I'm gonna say okay to that. It'll prompt you to reboot. Um, so once you've rebooted, um, you can come back to this same screen. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to reboot later because I'm in the middle of making this video. So that's that's all you need to do. Once you've rebooted, you would then come back to SourceForge again and do a search for Peace Equalizer, which is an interface for the Equalizer APO software. And again, what we're going to do here is we're going to download this and we're going to install it. Once again, um, I've checked this for viruses, there are none, um, and that's absolutely fine, so it's quite safe to install. Again, Windows will run its own security scan on that, and then you can install the software. Now, you do want to make sure that you've got the Equalizer APO software installed first. Uh, it will detect it if it's installed, otherwise you can follow this link here to go off to SourceForge and install it. Um, and what I'm going to do is, because it's already saying it's installed, that's absolutely fine. You won't have that. You just click on the install button. Um, it will then copy the configuration file to the Equalizer APO directory um, and create the relevant shortcuts. There we go. <clears throat> if you get a prompt to overwrite the configuration file, then make sure you do that because um, that's the way that uh, it will then... Um, pick up your settings once you go through and set your um, equalizer software. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this now and um, the equalizer APO software is already installed. What that does is it makes some registry configuration changes, but we want to run up the piece software. 
Okay, so um, you will be prompted whether you want an advanced interface or a basic interface. This is the basic interface. Now, when you first um, log on, or when it first opens up, you will see the pre-amplifying is zero. Um, you want to play around with this and set this to your um, relevant microphone based on tests that you run afterwards. So in my instance, I have got the Blue Snowball microphone and I've already run through a load of tests and the, the best um, setting for this is round about 15. Now, you can either click on done at this point and that will take it away, save the configuration file and that's it. Or if you want to come back to it to change the equalizer settings as you're going through, um, you can minimize that to the tray uh, and then launch it easily from there. But I know my settings. Um, I have not set any of the actual equalizer settings. So I'm, I'm using the uh, zero gain across uh, the equalizer, but I'm using a preamplification of 15. So that's all there is to it. Um, what you want to do is obviously play around and test that, but I found that that works really, really well for me. So um, what I've done as well is on the sound settings in Windows, so if you go to your sound setting in your taskbar, bottom right hand corner, do a right click and go to open your sound settings, uh, you can see here that the microphone is actually picking it up quite nicely. Previously, before I set the pre-amplification -amplif sound uh, setting, um, it wasn't registering at all, so that is actually working really well for me. Um, I'm going to close that down. Actually, I'm going to go to, yeah, I'm going to close that down and go back to um, the device properties so um, once you come into your device properties you want to have a look at the levels so as you can see here I've got mine set to not to listen to the device through the speakers to avoid any feedback or anything else um, and my levels um, I can now reduce because I've set the preamplification um, on the software so I'm actually going to reduce that down to between 80 and 90 is fine for the blue snowball. Um, if you've got it set to 100% and you're using preamplification, you may find that uh, it picks up a little bit more background noise. Uh, so that's why I've reduced the microphone volume input, um, but I've increased the preamplification. So that's all there is to it. Um, if you've got any comments or suggestions then please do reach out and leave me a comment under the video um, if you find that this doesn't work for you then again if you can let me know then um, what I can do is to dig around and find out why it's not working for you but it works absolutely fine with my blue microphone um, and if you found this video useful then it'd be great if you could like and subscribe thank you